Hey everyone, someone asked me a question. How do you use this QR code decoder? An NPM package and you can grab an image and then you're supposed to scan it to get the data out of that image. So I have an example image right here. So can we use this image as a source, decode it and confirm the text that's encoded in the QR code and to do it all from a cyber spec. Code is online and I'm going to start writing it. I'm importing the package, I already installed it. So the first thing I need to do, I need to grab this fixture file. They say fixture in the name of a file, train TNG, and I need an encoding. And my plan is to take this image, create an image source, base 64 encoded, base source string. And so I'm going to load it as base 64. That will give me a base64 string. And what do I do next? Well, I have to take the string and make an image source out of it. I'll say data, image, PNG, because I have PNG fixture file, base64, and then the string has both base64 values. Let's see how it loads. Click on the spec, maximize it. Nothing, right? But it hasn't failed. So that's a good sign. Because this function inside then callback returns the string, I use it, and now it's an image source string, and I can create a decoder, right, which is an instance of this NPM class, and then it has a promise returning method. Done. Yeah. All I have to do, give it image source. And because I want Cypress to wait for that promise to resolve and grab the result and pass it to the next command or assertion, Gonna return it. Okay, has not failed. That's a good sign. Maybe let's log it to the console. You can see that the scan method right here decoded the image, found the QR code, and then decoded the QR code information. You know, it gives you access to a bunch of properties, but the most important is data. That's what I encoded when I created that QR code. That's the link to my Cypress courses page. Okay, from the object. And just got it, get its data, and then maybe let's log it. Cypress log. And because it's a test, we have to check something. They should include in that string maybe Cypress if, for example. So this is how you use an NPM library that decodes QR codes. This is how you load a fixture file at the base64 and create an image source attribute and pass it to the decoder and then verify the information that it decodes.